Good morning, Graham for South. My name is Shalom Honsi, I'm from an organisation called Giving Back Australia. Uh, we're a local non for profit organisation. Uh, we would like to help families in need, regardless of colour, race or religion. Uh, Giving Back Australia started in 2014, and the dream was to help and unite countries, religions, colour and race through charity. What we developed was a program called Food Run, and this program uh, started off as just delivering a food hamper, just a little box of food uh, that went out to families in need that were struggling to put a meal on the table. That program since has developed to becoming a mobile Woolworths in a van where we deliver two weeks shopping uh, to right up to the doorstep of needy families. This includes um, fruit, vegetables, meat, chicken, uh, right up to cleaning products, sanitizer products, even toothpaste, toothbrushes, Panadol, shampoo, you name it, we put it in our pack. That two week shopping now, due to generosity of people like yourselves, has delivered two weeks shopping to over 11,000 families all over Sydney. That's involved no government funding and no money from anybody. It's purely generosity from students like yourself. What is our dream? Our dream is to show people that students like you can make a difference. It doesn't matter whether you come from a private school or a religious school or a public school, together we can all make a difference. And how can we do this? I'm gonna explain that in a minute, but before I do, I've brought a special guest with me today. I've brought a gentleman by the name of Rob, who volunteers five days a week in our warehouse, um, checking the expiry of all the food that gets donated, stacking it up on the shelves, looking after the volunteers, and making sure all these families that need food uh, are fed. Rob? Good morning, Graham and Seth. Um, I'm here this morning to uh, speak to you about uh, my involvement with Giving Back Australia and, and how we need some help from you guys and other schools like you. Um, I came to find Giving Back Australia through myself. Uh, I had a bit of a rough life myself. I was involved in uh, drugs for most of my life. I come from a broken family. Uh, at the moment I'm 40 years old and I initially came to Giving Back Australia for counselling. So forgive me if it's a bit of a terrible speech. Um, as I first came to the organisation a couple of months ago, I was an absolute nervous wreck. And one, one of the things that I wanted to point out is that, you know, even mid midway through my life, it's never too late to start changing your ways, it's never too early. It's always good to take uh, small steps in the right direction rather than big steps in the wrong direction. And um, so with these donations of food that we're asking you for, they go to needy families throughout the community, possibly throughout communities like this one. Uh, at the moment we're giving out food to feed uh, for a fortnight, every fortnight, up to 18 or 20 odd families. And I think the dollar value was around $5,000 that we gave out just in the last two weeks to needy families within the local city area. Um, Throughout, uh, so, uh, so I guess one of the things that I wanted to mention to you is about diversity. Um, uh, giving Back Australia, the logo here, it, they help everybody from dark people to white people, uh, big and small. Uh, there's a mixture of people within the organisation. Uh, I came to Islam about 12 months ago. Um, you know, like it, it's a very diverse organisation and we help people from all walks of life and all different places. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Okay, guys, so how can you help now that we've got all your attention? We can't do this without you. We're not the superstars, you guys are. So we've got a warehouse and the warehouse is like a Woolworths, just in a mini version. And we've got a van that goes out to the you know, needy families right up to their doorstep and we deliver the shopping to them. Who are these families? Victims of domestic violence, homeless people, refugees, uh, children from broken marriages, uh, children who maybe their mother or father are imprisoned, um, homeless people, 
someone that's just had like a widow, for example, her husband had just passed away, no warning, left her with three or four kids, maybe had a car accident, there's no one to feed them anymore. And if people like Giving Back Australia don't come to their doorstep and deliver food to them, they don't eat. These are families that are really, really struggling. So they might have a couple of dollars in their hand and they're gonna make a decision. Do we pay the electricity bill or do we put food on the table? These are the sort of families we help. And I know this might shock you, but a lot of the families we help are actually from these areas. Granville, Guildford, Alden. We go all the way to the Blue Mountains, all the way down to Wollongong. It doesn't matter where you're from, if we can reach you and you're a family in need, we'll be at your doorstep. We need your help, Granville South. How are you gonna help us? There'll be a note like this going out to all your students. And it's got a list of items. If each one of you can afford just one item, it'll probably cost you a dollar. And everybody brings that item in. There'll be an area, I believe in the HCIE staff room, that you can donate that item. And then Giving Back Australia is gonna come back to your school and pick up those items. Now all this is gonna be on all our social media platforms. We also want to show the world, we want to raise awareness that schools like you can make a difference. And students like yourselves are superstars and you do have power to make a difference. By you guys donating an item, it helps us keep the dream alive. It helps us keep helping families. Because we don't have the money to help them, but what we do have is people like you guys that we believe in. So my last words to you is please dig deep. Be as generous as you can afford. Don't go break the bank. Just go speak to mum and dad. See what you've got in your cupboard at home. You know, it could be something like a body wash, a hand wash, long life milk, toilet paper, tea, a toothpaste. You know, if you can afford one, bring one. You can, if you can afford three, bring three. If you can't afford any, that's absolutely fine. You might need to be able to contact us and maybe Giving Back Australia can help your family because that's what we're here for as well. So please guys, dig deep, help us make a difference and I believe that Greenville South can definitely help Giving Back Australia. Thank you very much for your time.